Hey, welcome back. And um, today, <clears throat> uh, mm -mm. my hair is a mess. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should actually get a haircut. No, I refuse. Hello, and welcome back. So I don't know how this started, but I was texting with my friend Tressa, and we came up with the idea to do a collaboration where I would ink something and she would color it. I think this is our first collaboration um, that we've ever done. We were thinking about what we should do, and today actually happens to be the 20th anniversary of the Emperor's New Groove. And uh, Tressa being such a llama enthusiast, I thought this would be a very fun collaboration. I got this in California. It was like this special deluxe edition DVD set. And I don't think they make this anymore. And it was right around the time I, I was starting college, which is I think when this movie came out. I am going to show you how I took a tiny sketch from my sketchbook and inked it in Procreate. Um, and then I figured I will talk about the movie, give some facts, and then part two, the drawing will magically zoom over to Tressa's channel and she's going to color it, render it with markers. So I'm ex super excited for I am the um, I'm super excited uh, to see how uh, she colors it because I'm a big fan of the way she renders her art. And uh, I know she's a big fan of llamas. Llama! I'm just excited. So <laughs> let's uh, go right to the Procreate and then um, I'll show you a, a little sneak peek of Tressa's renderings. And, uh, and and sort of link you to her channel where you can watch the full video. Happy anniversary, Emperor's New Groove. I think you're one of the most underrated Disney films and I think you're extremely funny. So if you're a fan of this movie, leave a comment below. Let us know what your favorite part is, who your favorite character is. On to the procreating. Oh wait, that sounds like, like, like doing it and stuff. <laughs> That's, that doesn't sound right. On to the time lapse. Let's slow it down a bit, uh, very slow, because we're not in the time-lapse process anymore. I'm actually showing you my screen. I did a bit of screen capture for this part of illustrating Cusco's face. There's Pacha sort of staring at Llama face and thinking like, oh, is that the Emperor? And when it came to designing the pinup or the, the piece for Tressa to color, if you saw my sketch in the beginning, it was very loose, but I know I wanted to feature the four main characters because I wanted different sections of the piece for Tressa to color and use different color palettes. She has a really good way of making things all fit and blend together, so I made a piece with so many different elements to play to her strengths. I honestly don't know why I'm moving so slow inking this. <laughs> 
it looks way cooler. Oh, check out that zoom tilt. That was fun. I love moving my canvas in Procreate, and I also love moving my paper around traditionally. Because I'm left-handed, I like adjusting the paper rather than adjusting my hand so it's not in weird, awkward shapes when I try to make an ink line. And before this program existed, or even uh, iPads, uh, inking to me was not my favorite part of the creative process. I liked seeing my pencil lines and sketching stuff out, but I had a big problem in college with inking because I'm left-handed I'm, and I'm heavy-handed, so I s tend to smear a lot. Uh, now that goes away when you're working digitally, but it also improved my traditional inking, so I'm a little more confident now when it comes to inking, and it's actually become my favorite part of the process. My least favorite process now is the rendering, and the uh, coloring, so I'm so happy that Tressa's gonna color this. And I tried to make it as engaging and pleasing to the eye as possible. I trust that Tressa's gonna bust out some really awesome color markers and, and color palettes and really make this thing pop. So you can probably hear my mouse clicking away, and that's because I have a trivia page open for The Emperor's New Groove. It's IMDB page, and I thought it'd be fun to read some fun facts. Pacha means Earth in the Incan language, this could refer to his round shape, his green poncho, and or his down-to-earth personality. Patrick Warburton improvised when Kronk hummed his own theme song, uh, a favorite part of, of the movie for me. <laughs> uh, apparently Disney's legal department had Warburton sign all the rights to the humming composition over to them. What? That is insane. Oh, I didn't know this. I'll have to go back and watch it. But it says here, When the pieces of the bridge fall into the river, the four letters of the word DAM can be seen falling one by one amongst the individual planks. And that is DAM, D-A-M-N, not like river dam. Yizma, played wonderfully by the uh, legendary Eartha Kitt, is one of the few female Disney villains to be physically fought in their respective debut movies. Yzma usually wears purple, a color often associated with madness and royalty. True to life, purple is considered a less likable color in some cultures. As an example, this would be that purple is seen as the color of death in Japan. Whoa. Oh, this is something I always wanted to know. The cutaway to the chimp with the bugs is a subtle reference to one of the opening shots of Citizen Kane. During the opening montage of the Xanadu estate, there is a similar shot of a pair of monkeys eating bugs. And lastly, this is the final animated film ever made and released before the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature came to existence, with DreamWorks' Shrek being the first ever winner of the Academy Award for Best Animated Movie. And with that, back to the time lapse. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse. I hope you enjoyed the commentary and the trivia facts about The Emperor's New Groove. Again, one of my favorite Disney movies. And as promised, here is a nice clip of uh, Tressa's video where she's rendering my inks with her Copic markers. And I will link her video in the description below. So once you finish part one, zoom on over to part two and we will catch you on the next. Peace.
So the sun is shining, looks so pretty. My hair does not 